To create a sub theme is easy. In fact, Bootstrap theme already provided the starter kits for you to create your sub theme. Now it's important that we create a sub theme, make our own changes and our writings as we like on the sub theme itself, instead of doing it on the base theme directly. Now this will prevent our changes make your theme from being overridden when there's an upgrade thumb to our base theme. Let's go to our Drupal site folder. Sites or themes bootstrap starter kits. There are two starter kits here, one for CDN and another for less. Now if you want to add your own source files and overwrite some CSS styles using less, then less starter kits is for you. You can check it out in the documentation on how to produce your own sub theme with less starter kit. Now for this demo, we'll create a sub theme with CDN starter kit, the easiest and the recommended one for the beginner or for building a simple website. So let's copy the whole folder of CDN back to our themes folder and paste it here. Now let's rename this folder to our own sub theme name. I will name it as Bootstrap Sub Theme. It's easier to recognize and differentiate when getting more themes installed. But you can name it your own as you like. Now let's open this sub theme folder. Look for cdn.startkit and rename this as well. I will rename it to Bootstrap Sub Theme dot info this is actually the dot info file it should be the same name with your sub theme name now great let's open this file in our text editor go to sites all themes push it sub theme and open this sub theme dot info file now this is what you will see in the dot info file right you can make your own changes here Create your new regions, add new CSS and JS file here as you need. Now I will leave that to you. Let's go back to our Drupal site to check it out. So let's flash the cache first. Now let's go to appearance. Scroll down. And you will see the new sub theme here. Let's enable the sub theme and set it as default theme. Now let's go to the home page. Great. You can see a bootstrap sub theme is used now. Let's resize the browser. Let's click on the nav bar button to check it out. That's great. So now you learn how to install bootstrap theme as well as to create a sub theme. Do remember to subscribe to our channel for more sharing to come.